This morning, a guilty verdict more than 25 years after college freshman Kristen Smart was reported missing in California. After 26 years with today's split verdicts, we learned that our quest for justice for Kristen will continue. On Tuesday, a jury found 45-year-old Paul Flores guilty of first-degree murder. And simultaneously, another jury found Flores' father, Ruben Flores, not guilty of helping his son dispose of her body. Smart was last seen walking home from a party at Cal Poly in 1996 with classmate Paul Flores. Authorities say Flores killed her while sexually assaulting her in his dorm room. Smart's body was never found, and it wasn't until last year that Flores and his dad were arrested. Prosecutors presented evidence at trial that Smart's body might have been buried beneath the deck of the elder Flores' home. Flores Sr. still defending his son. There is no evidence against anybody, me or Paul. The case drew national attention after a podcast called Your Own Backyard, released in 2019, examined Smart's disappearance. The sheriff acknowledged missteps by detectives over the years. The district attorney credited the podcast creator, Chris Lambert, for helping with the case. His podcast helped to identify additional new witnesses. Smart's family says they'll never be at peace. To our Kristen, almost three decades ago, our lives were irreparably changed on the night you disappeared. The family's attorney says justice was not completely served. Tragically, the guy who walked today, Ruben Flores, probably knows where the body is. Paul Flores will be sentenced in December and faces 25 years to life in prison. The sheriff vowed to keep the case open until Kristen Smart's remains are found. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.